Is it the outrigger? I don't know. Now, what if you fell and lost it? I mean, if you're going to ski with just an outrigger from now on, we got to know if you can get up without it. Where you're a skier. Who says amps can't ski? Well, you know what they say about it. See, you are prejudiced. You're afraid to meet an amp halfway. I beg your pardon? When was the last time you took it out to lunch? Well, uh... <laughs> you know what I think? Well, I don't want to hear about it. I don't blame you. Mm. Hey, Frank, remember the time we found out about jumping off the roof of the gondola building? So what do you mean, we? You were the brain that figured out if the snow were 14 feet deep, we could jump off the roof without getting hurt. Well, I was not only the fastest kid, but I was the smartest. Yeah, except for old Dave Erickson's Volkswagen. How was I supposed to know he's going to park it there before the storm? You think he really believed that story about the weight of the snow doing that to his roof? No, but no, I'll tell you something. I'll never forget his face when they dug it out and they saw what it looked like. Did you want spiced wine? We do now. <laughs> Hi, I'm Logan. This is Briggs. Nikki. King. Frank. Uh, you ski here often? No. No, today's my first day. You? Well, we've been skiing here ever since we were able to walk. Really? Yeah, really. I mean, he's been skiing here since they had the old rope to us. <laughs> no, really, we practically opened every trail around here. He exaggerates a little bit. I mean, we opened most of the trails, but not all of them. Thank you. You skiing with anybody tomorrow? I think so. Oh. Well, if it doesn't work out, I'll be skiing Red Dog most of the day. Thanks. Sure. When we were about, what, 15 years old, he challenged me to a race down Red Dog. It was uh, the first time it opened, and I want to tell you, it was a little scary. <laughs> We had a lot of sun the day before, and that morning the hill was a sheet of ice. He gets into my locker, takes my skis, and sands the edges off with emery cloth, right? Well, I knew he'd never check. Sloppy, sloppy man. Man of sloppy habits. So the first time I go to make a turn, nothing. I mean, with no edges, I had no turns. What happened? Well, when you got no turns, you can't slow down. So I just put my skis downhill and went for it. And did you get it? Oh, he got it all right. I mean, he not only beat me, but the speed record he set on the mountain still holds up today. That's the last time I ever cheated at anything. That's the lesson he picked up on. I picked up on something else. I can hardly wait. It's better to win than to lose. He became a philosopher. How about you? I'm a teacher at uh, Walt Whitman Grammar School in Los Angeles. Oh, no, I'm in skiing. Are you a good skier? Oh, yes. Everyone in my family could ski as long as I can remember. My mother's Italian from near Cortina. She was on the Italian national team. And my father's German from a town that had two industries, skiing and violin making. Have you ever skied in Europe? Uh, no. Vermont once. Rockies all the time. I was going to save Europe for my honeymoon. My parents go back every year. I learned how to ski in the Alps. Is it as good as everybody says? The food's better, but the skiing's better here. Aha, didn't I say that? Well, like everything you say, you don't know what you're talking about until you when you say it. Oh, well, I was right. Yeah, but he was right. It's a tough burden being right all the time. But a wonderful talent. They could use you in Washington. You know, I thought about that, but it would seriously interfere with my skiing. And when you come right down to it, between running the country and skiing... And... Boy, are you right. There's no choice. Hey, you were right again. See what I mean? You're right again. But you're also boring. No! <laughs> No, I'm having a wonderful time. It must be the altitude of the first day on the slopes. I better get some rest or I won't be skiing tomorrow. Yeah, me too. Me too. Uh, where are you guys skiing? Back at three. Someone told me that was the easiest run on the mountain. It's, uh... We like it because it's not crowded on weekends. Yeah. 
see. It pays to know your mountain. Crowds suffocate me. Maybe I'll see you there? Yeah. Swell. It was really nice meeting you two. Yeah, well, it was really good. Good night. Sweet dreams. Nice girl. That's terrific. I noticed you didn't tell her anything. Doesn't matter. Disgusting, isn't it? You skied that whole run non-stop. You did it. I'll now. tell you what I did. I put on a freak show for the whole mountain. And you see it all now. I can go anywhere on the hill. Just turn in people's stomachs. Frank, forget it. Forget it. the lodge? All to the left, all the way back by the stairs. You can't miss it. How dare you pull a stunt like that? What you did was rotten and unfair. Who gave you the right to play with people that way? Huh? You could have said something to me last night. You could have prepared me, but no, no, you had to test me. You have to test everybody, don't you? And so you can be smug and superior when we're unable to keep from reacting when we, you shoved your stumps in our faces. Boy, you really must resent people. What the hell do you think was happening last night in the bar? I liked you. You, damn it, not your... I didn't take an inventory. And if I had, I would have noticed that what you are missing is a brain! Coffee. On its way. <laughs> 